Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to the channel and thank you so much for all the support and love that you gave on my EDT tutorial video. Really appreciate it. And today we are going to be making a realistic forestry industry which has forestry, so cutting and gathering logs, then storage for storing them and finally processing area. We have a lot to do today, so let's dive right into it. And welcome to our abandoned rail yard and we built this in the last episode and this was our EDT tutorial and I'm so proud of it and it came so well but today uh, as we don't have much time we'll start focusing on our build and uh, today we'll be building a forestry industry over here so let me brief you what we are doing so first of all we'll be making a connection from there and bringing a road over here and then we'll connect them with this road over here so we have three sections over here you can see uh, so in the middle section we'll have our storage then on the rightmost section we'll be having our processing area and then on the left side over here and some space over here we'll be placing our forestry industry the vanilla one so that we can at least gather wood and if we have enough space over here we'll be building a previous forestry industry sort of so it won't have much trees but you will see a lot of logs and uh, stuff over there like you know it was before a forestry industry but then since they consumed all the wood in that area they shifted to another area so we are going to give a sort of look over there so let's start with terraforming and uh, i'll be right back So as you can see we have terraformed everything and uh, we have mostly flattened it so that uh, we can get maximum amount of space and uh, if we don't use the space then we'll soften it later on. So let's start with uh, setting up networks and uh, we'll start uh, building our forestry industry. So as you can see, we have laid out some networks and let's start from over here. So we cleared out some trees and uh, we utilized this overpass and we built this four lane two way road, a uh, highway road which goes all the way till there and uh, we diverged it from here and then connected it to the main highway. This highway goes from here till here and, and the four lane two way highway ends over here 
because over here the main traffic will be starting because this will be like our main processing area and as you can see this comes all the way till here and it connects to the chestnut street over here and uh, this also diverges and comes a little closer to the main industry area and i reckon this broadway highway will also deviate and uh, you know it will connect to over here so if people want to go over here using broadway highway they can do that and this will also um, cut along and uh, come over here so let's do that And over here will be our main forestry industry the first part of it and then the second part will be over here in the middle so let's divide the trees accordingly and uh, I'll bring it back so now that we have cleared the trees over here uh, we'll place two forestry industries so uh, when I come over here you can see uh, we can place like one over here and one over there so first of all we'll have to place some trees and then uh, we can place our forestry industry accordingly so we'll come over here i'll select pine we'll turn off anarchy and then we'll place these guys over here and then on the other side we'll be placing these pines so you can see we are harvesting these two and while we are placing trees let's come over here and convert this to an oak forestry industry shall we There we go, we have an oak forestry industry over there, spruce forestry industry over here and some pines over here. So let's place our forestry industry building and I think this looks much better. And now we come to the storage part. So we'll build the storage area and it will be inspired by a few Google images. So we are mainly doing storage over here but uh, in the processing area we will still place some storage areas over there so that it's like a temporary storage area over there. So, so all the storage will be going to the storage section but you know in the processing area we we'll, we'll still have some stock in our storage warehouse or you know an open field so that uh, you know when we are running out of space so till we send the trucks to bring back the woods or the timber we still have some sort of storage extra storage um, in the processing area so you know we are going with that sort of um, mindset so let's build storage area
and here it is guys we have finally finished this storage area or storage section of our forestry industry and you can see that we have one major connection from our dirt road which is by the way uh, our normal asphalt road and then we reach to our entrance office area for our um, storage area here our manager or whatever will sit and then over here you can see this road divides into three parts the first part which goes straight basically connects and goes all the way till the end and it loops around and comes back and on the main as well roads we have our uh, big warehouse and uh, these other warehouses as well so let's start from here so here you can see this is one of our storage areas so open field storage areas and uh, we have a lot of logs over here and we have a few loaders uh, which are loading some of the logs and then in between we have also connected some pathways so that uh, if we have any citizens walking through you can possibly see that so that's the thing and then over here in the middle we have uh, some sort of facility so over here we have some processing units over here so we have over here some piles of uh, planks and over here as well and then over here we have some logs and then again the loaders and uh, the other loader then in the front since this is fenced in so in the front we have this sort of trailer area where we can transport processed planks so you know um since uh, they need to be protected so we will be using these sort of closed trailers and then we come to this massive factory area so this is a normal warehouse but uh, here we are using this as a sort of processing unit a processing factory which takes the log and then cuts it into planks and then you know you store them so here everything will take place and then we have some storage over here then some processing units over here then some crates then some loading areas and uh, we have a massive plank yard that's i think uh, what we'll be calling this one so you can see we have lined all the planks over here and these are at most two to three levels in height and uh, you can see we have some um, cut in smaller pieces the logs and these are also stacked up for you know your usual campsites or resorts and then we have some leftovers at the back with some bushes here and there and in between we have a road so we made this invisible road and then we used the sort of stain small and stain large um, decals over here so this allows us to have some sort of muddy area or uh, you know track marks of the trucks or whatever then over here at the back we have a sort of storage area another storage area so you know we have some open ones and then we have some closed ones over here then on the outside we have some trailers and you know the usual stuff and then we have this another storage area over here so you can see like this is a storage area so you know you won't expect anything different than only storages over here so but we have tried to make different variations and uh, you know different sizes and types of storage area then we have a building in between and uh, we have some loaders loading the trailers over here and then we come over here so i think i will call this sort of um, disposable storage 
so you can see we have decorated this in such a way that uh, we have like all these rubbish piles over here so these are planks as you can see but these are like for example not useful or they are damaged or anything and uh, these are processed over here so you know we have got these two these four factories you can call it or industries and then over here in the little corner we have some more storage areas and to top it off we I, um, we use the decals and the surface so you know it doesn't feel empty like this so i think i will do this um, like everywhere wherever i can so yeah this is our storage area for our forestry industry and now we'll be moving to our processing area so we have a few options over here to place and we will be utilizing that and since today's episode is so big we'll be using time lapses as much as we can and then we'll have some you know verbal reviews of what we did and uh, you know wh why we did it so you know I'll be hitting you with another time lapse, but buckle it up. Let's start building the processing area and I'll be right back.
and this is it guys we have finally finished everything we have detailed everything and this is our processing area and over here you can see we have placed a paper factory because i reckon this uh, suits pretty well with the um forestry theme that we are going with and uh, you can see in front of it we have some storages so these storages are for planks so you can see we have got quite a lot of storage for planks and then on the outskirts we have all of the log storage so as i mentioned earlier in the video that uh, this storage in the processing area is sort of an extra storage so you know um in an immediate use case uh the whole like all of the industries and warehouses and everything will use logs and planks and when they run out they can send the trucks and uh, you know the whole process starts again and here you can see i also made this old forestry industry as i mentioned earlier in the video so this was basically the first forestry industry but then you can see it has been left abandoned so you can see quite a lot of logs then some wood piles here and there then the ground is quite messed up burnt and you know and uh, then there are like very few trees over here because they have like you know completely destroyed this area and this is a reality this happens in quite a lot of places and uh, here is an example and you can see like clearly like this place has been like you know almost destroyed and uh, you know there is no coming back from there i mean there is coming back but you know we have given it a look that you know um this is what happens uh when you do quite a lot of forest industry of uh, one place and once they move from here they made one over here and two over there so you know they, those are the new forestry industry of uh, brixton bay but uh, this was the previous one the old one if you are watching brixton bay then you are seeing that we are sort of building a history of brixton bay so brixton bay has quite a lot of story and uh, you know character to it so that's the main thing that i'm trying to do with the uh, brixton bay and i think we are getting somewhere with the story and character of the city but uh, yeah this is the most realistic forestry industry in city scarlands too and i hope you enjoyed it and if you did then please hit like subscribe and turn on all the notification so you guys know when the new video drops it drops every saturday but hit that notification bell and i'll catch you guys in the next one till then enjoy the cinematics and peace